everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. These are called a step card. Um, you can't see it when it's standing up unfortunately, so I'll pop it on this angle so you can have a look. Um, it's a double step here and it's just really beautiful. This one I've done for my mum for her birthday and she's going to be in hospital for her birthday which is Easter Saturday. So and she's going to be 89 years old. She's had to go in for a second hip replacement. <coughs> the first one didn't work so they've had to do it again unfortunately. So she's already spent 10 weeks in hospital of this year and it's not a good start to the year for her. But anyway this was my prototype and yet was using um, retired papers and retired um, dies here but using the I think what it's called butterfly garden bundle for that there so when I did this one I only put one layer of of um, for my base and it just didn't want to stand up very well it was like very very so and I didn't have any more card left only a tiny little bit of this card because it was retired it's um, lemon lime twist and it's all gone now so that's it but it stands up like this and with the stand it actually stands a lot sturdier than not having it so I've made mine with a stand <clears throat> I've seen this done so many times before but they never put the stand and the few times that I've made it before I've never been happy because it wouldn't stand up straight properly so I decided to put a stand on it and see what happens and I'm pretty happy with what's happened there and that's how it's going to be so let me tell you what we need now I've done a little bit of the gluing together already because of the fact that there's lots of pieces of to do oh, oh you're right on the back too whoops sorry ran the wrong way we're right on the back of it here too so and I've used the always and forever uh, stamp set for this this sort of card and I absolutely love it and I'm just a, a was really quite disappointed to find out that it was going to be discontinued, retired when the catalogue ends. So, and it's only been in there since January. But there you go, that's life. Can't all have what we want. Okay, so let's pop these out of the way and I will show you what we need. Let me pop, oh, there we go, stand over there. All right, so these are all our pieces and I have forgotten to bring my scoreboard over so I will go and get my scoreboard in a moment. So our main card is going to be a piece of card that measures three and seven eighths by eleven and a quarter inches and then for our step it's going to be five and three quarters by two and three quarters inches. For my base I've got two pieces of card that measure four and one eighth by two inches which I'm going to glue them together which we'll just do that now so that they've got time to dry. So, I like to put my two cut edges together, that's just me, so let's pop them together like that, and then they can sit there and dry while we get on with the rest of the card, and they'll be ready when we are ready, there we go, let's put the lid back on that, so there was two pieces there which were four and one eighth by two inches. <clears throat> for my back, back of my card, uh, which is the writing panel, now I've done my designer series paper around the opposite way. This designer paper, designer series paper goes with the dragon garden. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it, they come in six by six sheets. So this piece it measures five and a half by three and five eighths. And the top layer for doing your writing on measures five and a quarter by three and three three eighths. Ugh, it's a lot to remember. So and now let's go. For the next piece we need this one which I've no I haven't stuck these two pieces together. Which is for the front back. <laughs> the back part of the front of the card. Let's see. This back panel here of the front of the card. So let's pop that there so I can see what I'm doing off. <clears throat> and that measures three and a half by three and five eighths. Now you want the three and five eighths across the width. So when you cut your designer series paper, it's got to be three and a quarter or three and a quarter long by three and three eighths wide, 
which means if you've got a, a directional paper you need to make sure that your three and three eighths is along the top and your three and a quarter your pattern flows this way and that goes together now this paper here was just plain um, like this outline on and I colored these in I did all this in advance because I only wanted to have parts of it to show so and I did that with light old olive and dark melon mambo okay so all right so that's that piece for my step piece on the top of my stepper piece right on the let me show you bring that in again on this top piece here of the step piece you need a piece that measures three and five eighths by <clears throat> one and a quarter and then the designer series paper measures three and three eighths by one inch for the front part of the step here you need a piece that I've already stuck these two pieces together that measures three and five eighths by one and three quarters and the designer series paper measures three and three eighths by one and a half for our other step this step here the top piece this top piece here again um, that measures two and a half by one and a quarter and the designer series paper is two and a quarter by one inch and then my front panel which is this panel here um, that measures two and a half by three and a half now again you must make sure that your design if it's got a direction the three and a half is the length of the, the thing when it's standing up this way so and my designer series paper measures two and a quarter by three and a quarter so let's pop them all out of the way for a minute <coughs> For my scraps for doing my, my um, dragonflies, which I've already done two, so we're going to do two more. You'll need a piece of card that measures two and a quarter by about five and a half inches. You probably won't need a piece that big, but that's what I've got there for that. And then for my sentiment, which I'm doing the same as what I've done here um, with these two, I'll show you what sets I use for them afterwards. <clears throat> my piece of card measures two by two and a half inches and that was the piece that I got out of that let's pop that on one side we don't need that anymore and then for my other sentiment which I've already stamped this measures one and a quarter by two and a quarter and I've stamped that already so let's pop them out of the way I'm show you what we got what stamp sets I'm using so I'm using the dra dragonfly garden and I'm going to stamp um, I'm not sure which dragonfly I've got on here um, it's this one here so I'm stamping this dragonfly and I'm going to stamp this big one on the back along with uh, for a true friend because this is going to the UK for my friend's birthday at the end of April for my sent my uh, sentiment on the front um, what I cut them out from was these two smallest ones out of this set called hippie happiness hippo happiness hippie. hippo happiness and that's out of the hippo happiness bundle and the happy birthday comes out of the peaceful moments so let's go and get my board which I left on the other chair and we'll bring that in and we will do our start with our scoring <clears throat> okay so I'm going to take my two pieces that need scoring which is my main part and my front stepper and we're going to pop these into the scoreboard on the on, on the long side we're going to score this at a half an inch um, two inches four inches and five and a half inches this will give us a card that measures um, five and a half uh, five and three quarter inches long here but you get your extra length when you're 
folding it because this will fold up flat this will give you the extra bit here that you, so that it still fits into a regular envelope and then on our other piece which is our five and three quarter inch piece on the long side we're going to score this at a half an inch and at two inches and that's all our scoring done so let's put them out of the way scoreboard out of the way and we will get, get cracking so we're going to score our card on all folds are going to be <coughs> valley folds or mount, oh, mountain folds on all, all of them on both that piece and the other piece so if we score them and I mean fold all of those first and burnish them they're all done so we pop that one on one side and we're going to glue this piece together so <clears throat> on this tab here it's half inch tab and we're going to place our glue and we're going to then oops now how did I do it I forget how I did it that's it no that's not how I did it <laughs> this is how I did it then turn that under and glue that to it making sure that it's nice and level on both sides here mental blank there sorry about that so that's our main card and that's as you can see it doesn't like to stand up so that's why I think it's better to have the base on it so let's bring in our pieces me and we're going to glue these onto the front so this piece is the the top section in here so let's glue those two pieces together this is such beautiful paper on both sides but I just thought it was too dark for a whole card and and I wanted to do my card in um, green as green is my favorite color and this is now going to go onto the top up here. And as I said, making sure that your three and three eight side is across the top and your three and a half is down the side. So you're going to pop these two pieces together which is the <clears throat> three and three eighths by one and a quarter along with my designer series paper that measures three and three eighths oh, so that's three and five eighths three and three eighths by one at one inch so they get stuck together and they actually go onto the top here So if we lay that down flat, we can pop that onto the top there and get it nice and straight. And then this is our other front step part because when I do it, it will be front step and then step part in the instructions. So in written instructions that is. So this piece is the piece that measures three and five eighths by three, one and three quarters with our design series paper that measures three and three eighths by one and a half. I'm going through them over again only because I've stuck them together already. And this one goes onto the front, the panel. Okay, so once we've done that, with our other piece, we can turn this over and we can pop our front pieces onto this. This small piece, which is the, the top, measures the two and a half by one and a quarter and two and a quarter by one inch and that goes into this small piece here and our other piece which measures 
two and a half wide by three and a half long so making sure your your pattern goes the correct way which the designer series paper is two and a quarter by three and a quarter and it goes this way with the tab bit at the top so I'm making sure that your tab is at the top not at the bottom and this is going to sit onto our front of our card like so so we go, what we're going to do is we're just going to roughly about an inch up from the bottom of the, the flat piece the larger piece we're going to put some glue <coughs> excuse me for being a bit yucky today and we're going to eyeball this to be in the center between these two so if you've got skinny fingers or something that you want to measure if you're um, OCD and you want to measure it you can measure it there is nothing to say you can't measure it but you can eyeball that like I have if you wish and then this piece is going to go on here so what we're going to do next is we're going to pop some glue onto the top uh, half inch tab here and we're going to turn that under and while that's laying down flat we can glue that onto there and then once it sits up we can we can push it up and just make sure it's nice and tight underneath and that's our card except for our base and our back so with my base I've actually used a corner rounder and I'm going to corner round the corners on all four of these corners and then I'm going to put glue onto the bottom of the card and not up underneath there so when you're doing this one you must make sure that this one lays flush on this side and then place this onto the card getting it as central as you can again this is an eyeball thing but if you really want to um, get it even you can actually measure it and then put it on but I find eyeballing is just as easy and as you can see it stands up so much better like that it just feels right and it's the once it is closed into an envelope, it will sit down and be the right length for an A6, C6, C6 envelope, sorry, C6 envelope. So that's our main card. Let's pop that on one side for a moment and we'll do some stamping. Okay, so let me get a bit of scrap paper, which I've got here. And I'm going to pop this on here because I'm going to stamp, oh, wrong colour, in... Uh, mossy meadow which is not my favorite um, ink pad because this one always dries out let's pop it the other way up see if I can get better bit of coverage yep that's a little better and I'm going to stamp this onto one side of my picture just so he's there okay and I did it in the green so that I've only got to color the main part so let's pop the lid back on that one so let's move my bit of scrap and bring in my two pens i'll let that dry a tiny bit first while that's drying i'm going to stamp my other words on here which are for a true friend And while that's still drying, I will stamp my two dragonflies. Now, I then I did my other two dragonflies. So if this um, piece of card you'll need two pieces if you're going to do four dragonflies um, was two and a quarter by five and a half and I did those in mossy meadow not mossy meadow melon mambo but this time I'm going to do the two of them in 
light and that was dark and I'm going to do these in light old olive so I'll just color those in I'm not sure that I'm going to use them all I might put one or two on the back you never know I don't know Okay, so that's my dragonflies done there. Let's get this in. And we can just colour these big leaves with the light old olive. I'm not going to colour them all, only, only the big leaves. And I think that's about them all. And then I'm just going to colour the tops of my flowers with my mossy, um, man, my, oh, I've got a mental black, what is it? Mango Melody. There we go, that just looks beautiful to me, that's perfect. Okay, so that's going to go onto our piece of designer series paper like so. Let's so let's pop that onto there. Then I can put my lid back on my glue, my pin in there, out of the way because I'm not sure that I need it anymore. So let's do that. Oh, so do I need to, to stick this onto the back of the card? What a wally! Never mind. Okay, so that goes on to there, and it will stick on to the back of the card now. Oops. And then I'll put the, lip, the, the pin back in. Come stand still. It's as drunk as I am. No, I'm not drunk really. I haven't had a drink in weeks. I'm not a big alcoholic drinker, so... So that's our card. Get in there, pin. There we go. So that's our card writing panel done. And as you can see, our front of our card. So I'm going to, oh, do need the glue again. Sorry. Now, to glue my two happy birthday to my other panel. And now I can put the lid in there because I'm pretty sure I've finished this time. And I'm going to bring in the <coughs> Dragonfly Punch. I'm not punching this little one out. I'm, I don't really like him very much actually. I, I like the bigger one. So I'm going to cut. do the two but, uh, butterflies. Dragonflies. <coughs> now I won't hit punch. There we go. Just got a bit hard. Probably had a piece of stuff stuck in there. So let's put them in the bin. And we're ready to do our decorating. So we will start by, I think I'm going to put my happy birthday down here. Well, let's have a look. Let's pop a dragonfly here, here, maybe my happy birthday here. My other dragonfly can, can just hang off the edge because, oh no I can't, wrong end, um, can't hang off the edge, oh excuse me, he can hang off the sides but not the edge, so I might put my dragonflies on here and the other one on the back, that looks perfect to me, so let's start by popping some Dimensions onto the back of my saying. And pop them on the front. And then just two on this dragonfly for his wings. And then again for this one. Two more. And 
and two more for this one. Which I will overlap. Whoops, he's off the top a tiny bit. He'll, he'll still fit in the card. Yes, he will. And then I'm going to pop this other dragonfly on the back, just up here. But I'm going to put him on flat, so I will need the glue once more time just for that. Just there, like so. There we go. Let's pop the lid back in, uh, the pin back in that glue, and we'll finish off our card with some gold. These are gold glitter um, enamel dots, <coughs> which are also retiring. So let's oh, another one that's. They'll probably be retiring because they keep falling to pieces. Ah, I stuck to my finger now. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. No, that's not the same one. So that piece is still stuck to my finger. Let's see. Um, oh gosh, another one. I'm really not had happy with these dots. Maybe that is part of the reason why they are actually going to be discontinued. I've got three on here, so I'm going to put five. Oh, another one. And another one. Oh, one more. That'll do us. Let's see, where can I put this one? I think I'll pop in there. And then I might put a couple of these tiny ones on the back. If I can get them off. I'll just put three up here. Get onto my... There we go. So that's our card for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. This is a double stepper card. Double step card. And these are my few, um, as I say, I've got them laying down. So you can actually see them. There's the three that I've done. Um, and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. As I say, this one's for my mum's birthday. This one's for my friend Barbara, who lives in the UK, her birthday. Her mum's birthday is the third. Barbara's is the 23rd. I've still got heaps more birthdays this month so and I'm um, if you would like the written tutorial for this card please head over to my Facebook group called Die Stand for Stamping Crafting and Tutorials if you would like to see this one um, head over to my blog um, I will leave the, the direct, um, links down the bottom here for you so you can head over to my blog or you can check out all my pictures on my uh, Pinterest site as well so and I hope you've enjoyed today's play project please give me a thumbs up if you have I'd love to hear from you all and please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other projects and I will see you again next week bye for now